y'all, it's Alicia and welcome back to Alicia's Crafty Hoplop. Oh, it's a wonderful day to be here with you all. Happy hump day, y'all. Happy hump day. To our new folks, I think this is going to be a really fun day for you. And you're about to find out why. We also have some sad news. We have some great news. And we have an exciting announcement too. So also a very warm welcome and hey to my returning folks. Thanks again for all your patience with me. Y'all noticed I was looking really fatigued yesterday. I, you know, I think it just took its toll. I, I got up with this really big long to-do list, y'all, and I didn't even get through half of it. And today I'm not feeling that much stronger. So I think I'll probably get through a quarter of what I want to get done. And this week I'm just going to take it easy. I am spending time, I know you all noticed, I caught up on some videos yesterday, I caught up on some comments yesterday, I caught up on all emails yesterday. That I'm very proud of because that's actually what I usually do last, besides Instagram, which I've just been terrible at lately and I apologize. Um, and we did our round of ATCs and we'll be doing some more today, which is exciting. I have a whole bunch of mail in the disinfecting bin, it needs to be there for another day and then I'll unpackage that too. Uh, but thank you. Thanks y'all for bearing with me during finals. It's a, it was a rough, it was a rough go. And I'm not going to lie, this round of teaching was much tougher than usual. And at first it didn't interfere at all with our channel, but it, it, you know, the second we went online, the game changed. So thank you all for all your concern, your support, your cheering on, your love, your, your extra spoons, your reminder to, for self care. Um, even many of you texted me today saying you still look really tired. Maybe take it easy for a few days and I'm going to heed your advice. Now, very important. I want to start today with good news first because I think that we could all use it. Had a lovely email from Suzanne Noko and thanks again to, to Suzanne for emailing. Y'all, her daughter-in-law is better and that's cause to celebrate. Her daughter-in-law is better. Uh, her son does have a cough, but he seems to be managing it and the kids seem fine. So uh, we have hopefully gotten through this crisis, but the best news is her daughter-in-law has fully recovered and has recently tested negative. So she is she has recovered, y'all. So that is wonderful news for Suzanne and for her family. And I know it's a huge relief for all of us. Thank you to all of you who checked in regularly. Thank you to those of you who texted me or emailed me to ask me how Suzanne's daughter-in-law was doing. I, we didn't want to pester you, Suzanne. We were worried, but we know the worst thing that you can do is pester someone when you've got this kind of weight on your shoulders. So we're, we're really relieved. And thanks for letting us know so I could share it with everyone. So isn't that the best news, y'all? It is. Now we have some sad news too, and it's important that we share that too. Uh, many of us in our community now have at least one, if not two, if not three members, or maybe more, of either our family or extended family or friends who have either had the virus, the COVID, or currently have it. And unfortunately, Bertha Blessed Wilson has lost a few family members this week, y'all. And that's why you haven't seen her on here much. I was going to do this announcement yesterday, but my heart was very heavy. It was heavy with the news from Bertha. Um, Bertha, as you know, has been here from day one. And she is Regardless of this, but I want to share this. For those of you that are newer and maybe don't know Bertha well, she cheerleads everybody. When we have a new crafter who is bravely showcasing their work for the first time, Bertha is the first to, to say all the wonderful things about it. She makes sure to comment and buoy that person's spirits, and she does it genuinely, really genuinely. And she always has a positive thought for everybody. And when we need prayers, she's right there, y'all right there right there making a prayer for everybody and and has no even if she doesn't know the person well she she really goes straight to work on trying to help as much as she can and uh bertha is on a fairly fixed income a lot of people who are retired as we know in our community are on a fixed income and yet when we have dire need bertha always offers and steps up and says what can i do to help so for those of you that don't know Bertha well because you're newer to the channel, that gives you a little insight into who she is. And Bertha's on here every day. So the reason you have not seen her the last few days is because unfortunately Bertha has suffered incredible loss. She didn't just lose one person, y'all. That's the part. That's why even today I'm having a hard time with it. Her best friend's child, cousin, we have 
she had a few losses this week from COVID. And it's been a really hard week for her. So Tammy, you can imagine, your box could not have come at a better time. Because right when Miss Bertha was at her lowest, that box came. So to the Angel team, thank you. I know that it wasn't planned. You couldn't have known these deaths were going to occur. But oh, your box couldn't have come at a better time when she needed it more. So thank you. For the rest of us, y'all, if you could leave Bertha a note down below, I'd really appreciate it. To lose, to lose one person is oh, excruciating. To lose a few in a week, that, that's just too much, y'all. We know that. It's too much for the spirit. And one of the ways we can help Miss Bertha get through that is by letting her know we care and by checking in on her. And also, for those of you that pray, please continue to do so. And especially for Bertha, because she's going to need some strength right now. She needs some strength. And maybe we can help her with that. I'm also going to ask those of you who pray and well wish, please keep everyone in your thoughts and prayers. This this thing, this virus, it you know, it doesn't care what race you are, what age you are. We thought at first it didn't affect children. Now it's really affecting children. It doesn't care how much money you have or where you live. It, I mean, it's just a deadly enemy. And it's, it's hurting a lot of people in our community. And Bertha is the person this week who is really suffering badly. We had Lizzie earlier in the week going through the same thing. These are two women who lost a lot of people, y'all, in a week. So if you're someone who likes to make cards, and I know there are some of you who do, I know because you're sending in beautiful angel cards. If you have it in your heart to make Bertha and Lizzie a, a condolence card or a card of encouragement, I know they would so appreciate it. I know they would. Both those women love handmade cards. So if you'd like to do that, email me. My address is going to be down below in the comment section. And since I'm not working, I can check it daily now. And I'll email you back and give you their address. I just don't want to broadcast their address to all of YouTube. So if you don't mind, um, write to me privately and I'll give it to you. And get those cards out to those ladies. They're going to need them. They're going to need them, y'all. All right. Now that we've had the heartbreaking news, let's go on to something good. So we all knew that it was going to take me, we thought, till the end of June to finish We Wishes. But then Monty helped, and then Donna Dreams helped, and oh my goodness, Alice. I mean, so many people just stepped in and said, what can I help with? Let's get this done faster. So this week is the last of the We Wishes going out. And that is remarkable. We did it. And we truly did it as a team, y'all, because I gotta tell you, between school and everything else, it just wouldn't have got, it wouldn't have gotten done. Plus, there were things I just couldn't get, and the angels couldn't get. Either they were too expensive, they weren't for sale. We had a number of issues this this round, um, but we've never done it like this before, and we probably won't ever do it like this again. But it was an experience, and so many people were blessed over so many months. So we need to say thank you again formally to Crafting with Liller and to Ara the Paper Treasury. Uh, because Lily came up with the idea herself and then Ara joined in. And it's really because of them. And then Miss Deb Hendrick. I gotta say something to you, Deb. You contributed an epic amount of stuff to this, we wishes. And I don't know that, you know, as a community, we've properly recognized that enough. Um, I want to say this, y'all, you know, I mean, Ara sent in a 25-pound box. I'm right, right, Ara? It was 25 pounds. It was so heavy. Deb also sent in about the same amount, y'all. So really, you know, this idea got started by Lily, Crafting with Liller. But I got to tell you, the thanks really gets owed to Lily, Ara, and Deb Hendrick. And as you all know, you know, and I want to share this because, Deb, you've said it openly on your channel. Um, and I think it's important to recognize this. You know, Deb is on a very fixed income. Very fixed income. So I'll tell you what she did. So she could have, you know, go to like Frank Garcia Studios and order 29,000 paper pads and send it out. Because she can't do that. She's on a fixed income. But she's been crafting a long time. She's an expert crafter. She gave up her supplies, y'all. Two huge boxes that weighed as much as ours that kind of generosity 
is just shocking. So a big thank you to Crafting with Lilith. It was your idea, girly. To Ara the Paper Treasury. And to Deb Hendrick for all of your like super gener generous gifts. Um, I'll also say that Sabrina Crafting Mom and Son sent in a ton of stuff too. So you ladies are really special. Um, and I don't know what I would have done without Donna Dreams and Monty, especially towards the end, because I really needed help, y'all. I, I really did. And those two ladies just stepped up and helped me out. So thank you, ladies. I really appreciate it. And we all appreciate you. So that marks the end of our unusual way of doing We Wishes. But we were going to take a break for the summer. But, you know, a number of my friends you know, said, Leash, love this program. Don't cancel it. Don't cancel it. And I think I just had we wish fatigue for managing this for so many months. But everyone said, what if you went back to the original way we did it, where everyone just lists their we wishes. And if someone wants to grant it, they do. It's not up to you. Nothing gets sent to you. You don't have to coordinate it. It goes back to the way it was. So I slept on that for a good few weeks, y'all. And they're right. They're right. We can't eliminate we wishes because it, it matters too much to too many people. And it gives people in our, our community an opportunity to help others without being part of the angel team. And that's also fair. So today I'm formally announcing that we have begun we wishes yet again. And I'm going to remind those of you, especially because we have a lot of new subscribers, I'm going to outline the rules very carefully because we are going back to our original rules. This is how it works, y'all. You get to make a wish for a we wish. Now, a we wish, let me be specific, is something like a pack of stickers. It is something like a wax pencil for picking up jemmies. Um, it might be a, a set of stickers from Hobby Lobby. Uh, it could be uh, a few brads. It also can be like a used thing, like someone's used uh, punch or a few scraps of lace, or if someone needs like a handful of seam binding, that's a we wish. That's a we wish. A weighty want is something bigger, but not cricket bigger or die cutter bigger. It's something like uh, a Fisker's paper cutter. Something that's sort of like 25 bucks or under um, that maybe somebody has either new or used. So it could be a paper cutter. It could be a rotary cutter. It could be a crop -a dial because if you get one on a Tuesday morning, they're under $20. It could be a, a chomper. It could be, oh, it could be a punch. It could be a, a die. So Again, now also a wee wish can be a die because if you're ordering a wee wish from Ali, like an Ali die would be a wee wish. A spellbinder's die, newer used, would be a weighty want. There you go. I think that helps you understand it. So here's how it works. Everyone, everyone has about, usually we give people two weeks. Everyone has two weeks to list a wee wish and a weighty want down below. And then... It's up to people in our community if they want to grant it or not. They'll go over and take a look at all the we wishes and they'll decide if they want to grant it or not. And if they do, they usually reach out to the person and say, I'm going to grant your wish. Sometimes they grant it anonymously. They don't even tell you it's coming. They don't. Now, if it's a bigger item like a paper cutter, please do tell the person in case somebody else contacts them and they don't end up with two paper cutters because we don't want that to happen because there's loads of people that need stuff in our community. I also want to remind people that there is no expiration date on fulfilling the wishes. And I need to say this because we had an issue in the past. So we put up the we wishes and the weighty wants today. And someone says, I really want a guillotine paper cutter. And someone says, okay, I'm going to fulfill that wish. That doesn't mean you get it a week from now, two weeks from now, even three weeks from now. Sometimes y'all people are on limited incomes. They have to save for a few months. It just means that at some point they're going to send it to you. That's how this works. You can't get upset with them if a month from now they don't send it to you. It might take them longer. Remember, they're giving out of their kindness of their hearts. So we wishes and weighty wants do not have expiration dates. 
Now, most of the time they don't take six months to fulfill these. Most of the time they need to save for a few months for a bigger item. But uh, usually we wishes are granted, you know, within a month. Sometimes people have to save for postage too, right? So like, let's say it's a we wish that isn't expensive, but it's a bit bulky and you have to send it like priority mail and that's more expensive. Well, the person might have to wait a month for their check. So keep that all in mind, y'all, okay? So today, so which means you never send me anything again for me to ship out and organize. Now, if you decide you want to grant someone's wish, you go over to where they, you know, go to their comment. And usually you write a comment down below saying, I'm granting your wish. And then you guys communicate. That's how it works. And the person who's granting the wish takes care of the postage and they arrange everything. So y'all, we are starting wee wishes and waiting, um, waity wants today. So that means you have two weeks from today, uh, which takes us exactly to the 27th, which is perfect because we always do this but by the end of the month, we close it off. So you have until the 27th to put down a wee wish or a weighty want, new or used. And you also can ask for scrap. Sometimes people really want scrap paper, y'all. So don't be afraid to say, I need some scrap paper. Um, I know that Amber Rosenbaum has been making a lot of her own um, her own scrapbooking paper by Franken pages and putting them together and then make and then copying it and making this really cool designer paper. So some people want scraps. It could be a used wish or a weighty want, or it can be a new one. It's up to you. But a reminder: this isn't for things like die cutters or things like that. We run special programs for things like that. Um, but this is just our everyday one. And if you want to grant a wish, go ahead and do it. Um, I did, there was someone who made a wish not that long ago. She doesn't even probably even remember that she made it, but she did. And so I wanted to launch our program today by granting that wish to, and that, that person is Jania. Jania, you made a wish a little while ago, and I don't know if you know that you did, but I granted it today to start off We Wishes, and it's being shipped to you from Frank Garcia Studios. So watch for that box. All right, y'all, that is the end of my first video for Hump Day. Happy Hump Day, y'all. We wishes, condolences, serious condolences for Miss Bertha Blessed Wilson. And again, if you are into making a card, it would be so appreciated for she and for Lizzie. My last thoughts are for my friend P whimsical endeavors who is currently in surgery please keep pee in your thoughts please we want this surgery to be successful we want her to heal quickly and successfully and we would like her to be in a little more a little less pain and also y'all you know soleil's been going through a rather painful time those of us with autoimmune we go through these weird waves of pain and they can be pretty intense and she's been going through a rather painful period so please keep her in your thoughts today too to the rest of y'all, um, you know, always remember we have frontline workers in our community who are out there each and every day. Very brave souls. Susan Althouse, Alicia, the Love Letter Generation, Marcy. We have all sorts of people in our community who are frontliners and their lives are at risk every day. Please keep them in your thoughts and your prayers too. All right, y'all. Wishing you the happiest and most creative Wednesday. Bye for now.